Clients looking to purchase defibrillators, or AEDs as they're also called, for their workplaces in Australia, will often speak to us about the most appropriate number of defibrillators for their particular workplaces, and importantly, where to install the defibrillators once they're on site. Now, when we're doing first aid training, we're often told that there's up to 10 minutes following uh, somebody suffering a sudden cardiac arrest in which to use a defibrillator. Now, the important thing to consider is the first three minutes following the sudden cardiac arrest occurring is the best time to use a defibrillator. Following that first three minutes, the success rates fall away dramatically. So in a workplace, uh, consider the uh, likelihood of an individual observing somebody potentially having a sudden cardiac arrest, realising what's happening, and then themselves needing to go and collect the defibrillator from wherever it's stored and bringing it back to the person and starting work. So using that three minute example, you may burn a minute and a half going to get the defibrillator and another minute and a half um, you know, going back to the person and starting work. So that's a good rule of thumb to consider when you're thinking about the location of the defibrillator in your workplace. Now, when you're thinking about how to install it, um, there's brackets like this where the defibrillator hangs on the wall off the, uh, off the bracket. Uh, another good way of storing the defibrillator is a cabinet like this. Uh, this particular cabinet has uh, a flashing light and a siren that are activated when the door is opened. Now that's designed to attract attention to uh, an event potentially unfolding and hopefully others can render assistance uh, to the person that suffered the sudden cardiac arrest. Um, now each of the manufacturers of defibrillators will uh, provide instructions about uh, where best to install the uh, defibrillator. The, the unit that's in this cabinet is Safety Equip's most popular defibrillator at the moment for workplaces. This is the LifePak CR2 unit and this one's the uh, wireless uh, connected unit. So for this particular one, it's also important to consider um, internet connectivity. So ideally, um, you know, for it to utilize the wireless functions of being able to uh, advise you electronically when the battery is flat potentially, it needs to connect to the Wi-Fi. So there's no point putting it, you know, in an area where it can't connect to the site uh, Wi-Fi. Now, these are the instructions that come with uh, this particular unit, the LifePak CR2 uh, from the manufacturer. It uh, talks about the defibrillator should be placed in a high visibility, frequently traveled area. This could include a location near existing emergency equipment, such as fire extinguishers and first aid kits. So there's no point having the defibrillator on the site if nobody knows that it's there. Uh, in the workplace, employees should be informed as to the defibrillator location Placing the defibrillator in a central location will help everyone get used to seeing it so that they know where to find it in an emergency. Now, we generally uh, like to, when we supply the defibrillator, we would generally have a staff member attend uh, the client work site to run through how to use the defibrillator most effectively. Um, each of the safety equipped branches around Australia have, um, this is one of our training units. So this is the training unit that goes with that particular defibrillator. So we would normally attend a client work site with this unit, host a toolbox talk, and then run through you know, where it's installed and importantly, how, how and when to use the defibrillator. Uh, other things that are included in these uh, instructions are, you can place your defibrillator on a stable surface, so it doesn't have to be hung up. It could be on a, you know, maybe a countertop, um, or in an AED cabinet if purchased, that's this one. Uh, if the defibrillator is placed on a surface mounted cabinet, ensure there's sufficient space to avoid protruding into the path of travel for anyone walking or in a wheelchair. So you don't want it in a really narrow area where the door is just gonna restrict uh, access to others in the area. There's also some information about uh, temperature ranges. Ideally, you wanna have this stored long-term in an area where the temperature is between 15 degrees and 35 degrees. Now, it can be stored um, you know, at the extreme, either below that or above that for shorter periods of time. But ideally, if you're keeping it there long term, it should be within that um, temperature range. Speak with your local staff at your local safety equip branch for further information on defibrillators, where to store them, and for help once you've purchased it, showing your team how to use the defibrillator.